Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. But she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Do exactly what I say. This will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! He has a gun! Ah! I said get the Good. fuck out! Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover. I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power no, grid. Man. That'll let me overload the transformers near no you and blow out those up. lights. What if the guy's arm, huh? You think of that? Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. <sighs> Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. 
And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it. Because I can see it. Maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Daddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Hiding won't save your ass, pal. Hey, you think you're a fat ass? Oh. Come out and show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Now you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now Shit. you're talking. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sarah, baby, don't look. What are you doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Now, uh, who's paying the bills on this one? Tobin? Oh, man, we gotta keep working for this. <laughs> I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? Hmm? Nah, man. Shit. This Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back gates to the market, left us here with our thumbs up our asses. Not happening. Back's all blocked up. He's got to come through here. <clears throat> nah, not enough cover. He's got to be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. We'd get that reward money Gramkos is promising for a Come on, you asshole! Do this. I'm out of here. Stay back, me. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Okay, enough. You want to know, send me. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know. Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh, he killed me. Oh, I didn't see nothing behind the wrestler. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. 
Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Sir. Eyes open next time, okay, pal? So, what's on the schedule for tomorrow? supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else... <laughs> Let someone... Who are these assholes anyway? I don't know. CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Coben cleaned them up. Coben cleaned up the secret agent? Someone took out the chandelier! Hey, but... Shit! Holy shit! What the fuck happened? Ah, oh, shit, man. I bet it's that Fisher ass Guys, wax did it. I got a problem. Bad Coben warned us about it. Bad Coben warned us, so let's keep our eyes open. Ah, oh, shit. Mr. Coben was not Show your face. How we doing? But ahead of schedule. Yeah, no kidding. Any oh shit!
Sergeant Spark, Fisher. Sure. So we're not getting any further. You're looking for me? Well, you found me. That's as far as it goes. You're not gonna lay a goddamn finger on me. Take him down. And you know why not? It's because you're gonna be dead. Look around. Here is your wall. Dead. I'll hang you up. You wanna run? I'll give you a head to start. You keep coming. I'll be waiting. And I'll take care of you the same way I take care of everyone else. Hoban wants to see you dead. And one more thing. Your daughter, your precious little daughter, she's a fucking whore! Fuck, man. That's bad, man. That's really bad. Shit. Fisher's tearing this place up. What? Until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is oh, shut shit, up. Shit, shit. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! Oh, Burn you, Fisher! Man. I heard the gunshot. Oh, come on! This is my house, you hear me? My house! Why don't you just goddamn die? Oh, shit. You're dead, oh. man. You're not getting me! You got nothing, you hear me? Nothing! I need some help here! Fuck! Hurry! Nobody messes with Tobin! Die, you bastard! Dead! Reloading! You're not bulletproof, are you? I'm gonna blow your brains out! Hold still and die! Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Oh! It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job! They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you! I'm still working for them! They'll gut me if I tell you! the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't finish me! 
Fisher. They're bigger than you. They're bigger than me. Don't you see? They told me you were coming. Drop it, Fisher. Drop it now. Giving you won't be hurt, sir. Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please. You have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. Ugh. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in That's the it, air! Fisher. No nice movement. and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, Son of a...